head to the dollar store and grab two bamboo cutting boards because we're gonna make a super trendy wood bead riser. So just grab some wood beads. These are from Dollar Tree. I got them a while ago. The, any, these are stained like a dark color, but they could be unfinished, whatever you got. So for this, this size of cutting board, my wood beads were about two and a half centimeters in diameter, give or take. But all you're gonna do is just grab your hot glue gun and apply a little bit of hot glue to the bottom of each wood bead and then apply it right to the edge of the cutting board. You really want to make sure that if there's going to be any hot glue that pools, that it pools towards like the center of the cutting board and not towards the outside. So you have a more finished look. So just kind of be careful. And if like you're going to apply more hot glue on one side of the wood bead, that that part of the wood bead is what faces the inside of the cutting board. But just keep going all the way around the cutting board. I think I used 39 wood beads to go all the way around. And then once you have all those wood beads in place, it's time to add the second cutting board. So once again, applying more hot glue to the inner edge than to the outer edge of that wood bead. So you don't have hot glue pooling on the outside of your tray. Just run hot glue all the way around the tops of those wood beads and then set the second cutting board right on top, nice and centered. Easy peasy. And then it's time to add four little feet to the riser. And for this, I used two centimeter diameter wood beads. These were not from the Dollar, to Dollar Tree. They were from like the craft store. They were just in my craft stash, but use whatever you can find. And for this, I used a combination of E6000 glue for more permanent long-term hold and a tiny dab of hot glue for instant hold so I could paint this tray right away. So a little bit of both and then set that wood bead right in place to serve as a leg on this riser tray and then repeat the process with the other three wood beads. And then from here, it's time to paint. So I grabbed my trusty Waverly chalk paint in the color Moss. Use whatever color and brand of chalk paint makes you happy and just give a nice good coat over the whole tray. So it does take a fair amount of time to get between all the nooks and crannies between the wood beads and everything and it does take a couple coats because like you'll do one coat and then set it aside and look at it from another angle and oh like oh I missed a bunch of spots there so uh, just take your time and do a good coat and then come back and do a second coat after the first one is dried the nice thing is chalk paint dries pretty quickly And then I also just did another coat right on top of my riser tray here with that same green moss green Waverly chalk paint. And this final step is totally optional, but I just cut a stencil on my Cricut on like stencil vinyl. I really enjoy going into Cricut Design Space and picking out designs and making my own stencils, but you could use a store-bought stencil or just skip this step completely. This is, you don't even need to do this at all, but I just set my stencil in place and used a pouncer brush with a combination of celery green chalk paint from Waverly and white chalk paint. The celery was like a little too dark, but I didn't want to do a bright white, so I kind of mix the two colors together with a pouncer brush and kind of went over my whole stencil there. But use any type of like pattern stencil that you like, any color, any accent color paint you like, or like I said, skip this step all together. And then once I peeled off my stencil, I let that chalk paint fully dry. So I like to peel off my stencils when the paint is still a little bit wet. So I'll let it sit for like five, 10 minutes, peel off the stencil and then let it completely dry. And then just protect your surface with a quick clear coat of any type of like clear sealant. I like matte more than satin. That's just personal preference, but really any type of spray sealant or even a coat of Mod Podge would do. But that was it. Here's my little green painted riser tray along with a natural wood riser tray that I bought at the Target dollar spot a while ago but a fun little trendy farmhouse style project for styling 
you know, bookshelves or centerpieces or side tables or anything else that you like. I do hope you enjoyed this craft tutorial. Until next time, happy making!